involved in the physical part here. It's good, in, good early indications for him. Oh, he knows the way he has to play, and it's hard as Derusso in front, but the scores! Derusso, a feather pass for Brett Budgel, and he's able to chip that one up and over the shoulder of Dakota Lund Cornish, and the Islanders will enjoy an early 1-0 lead. And you always talk, we always remark about the intelligence of a guy like Brett Budgel, and he knew he was in tight, he knew the stick was coming at him, he didn't waste any time. Just a nice little saucer pass here by Dave Rousseau. And Budgel realizing, sensing that the defender was coming in on him. Got the stick down on it. Battle hurt through a nice play there. Good goal. Love seeing goals like that. McIsaac being watched there by Liam Payton. Gaetan Jobin sidesteps Prue, trying to get the pass back in front for Payton. McIsaac has the stick lifted. Payton will pick it up. Payton to the backhand and scores! Liam Payton strips McIsaac of the puck and then goes five hole on Lund Cornish and the Islanders up by a score of two to nothing. Well, we are, we're, we've been questioning about whether uh, Gaetan Jobin can get going. He really made this play happen and good aggressive forecheck. Liam Payton came in in good support and used that big body he has to fend off. He just looked, threw it in front. That's a hard one for Dakota Lorder. Lund Cornish to read. He might have regretted not having a stick down there as it slid between the wickets, but that's just a good workmanlike effort on both uh, Gaetan Javan's part and Liam Payton finishing it off. Flips it over top the glove of Ortiz as the Owners will make changes. They'll throw it back ahead. Leg RA. Speed to the outside. Leg RA. Cuts in and scores! You let a couple of guys go, but Leg RA is not the guy to let go, and he gets in behind Trudeau, and what a move. Upstairs, underneath the crossbar, and it's 2-1. You knew this was going to happen at some point in time in this game, Corey. He's had jump all night. Got a step there, and William Trudeau tried to get in at the last minute, and the man, he goes in, and Matty Welsh had to protect against Watch. If you see Legare coming in, it looks like he's going to be going back door, and then he just pulls it back. Good score, scores goal. Man, I love seeing guys going in and shoot the puck like that. To the blue line. Xavier Bernard for no allowing 14 seconds to go here in the power play. De Rousseau on the half wall. They try to stretch that seam pass. Doesn't get through. De Rousseau will tee that one up right on. Rebounds in front. They jam away at it. And score! Mm -hmm. Power play goal. No allowing. On the back door. The puck skips free. And the Islanders will take their two goal lead back. It's 3-1. to one. Critical goal there by the Islanders to get it at this point in time. They were trying to force it through a little bit there, Corey, but Justin Gill got the body in front, created some havoc in front of one corners. No allow and read the play. You can see there, right? Gill kicks the puck. Fortan goes in behind him. Low allow and slips in at the last minute and gets uh, Johnny on the spot. Scramble to get a big goal. That's a huge goal to get it at this point in time. After the Dracar had gotten themselves back into it, they were feeling it, and uh, good and no allowing to convert there in that one. That's a huge one. Yeah. Bouchard, pass down. Lowen, active stick, chips that one past his man. No allowing will go off the wall. Gets past Bouchard. And back down the length of the ice. 18 to go here as it's played to the blue line. Kept in. Shot and scores! De Rousseau. But it's going to be waved off. They're going to say it was offside. That was that close. upstairs to review it. It was close. Yeah. I don't think the linesman made any indication. No, no, he went and it around right here. was waving it off. But they're yeah. upstairs to review it for sure. Here it comes here. Looks good. Oh, that's on side. Yeah. To me, that looked like it was a good ball. Yeah, so Chris Evanko got right here, the world. Yeah. Here. The play is under review. I don't know. From that review right there, it looked, it, it looked like me. it was onside. The initial, when I saw the play the initially, has to too, it has, has to be fully. fully outside the line. And uh, it, it Good goal. The, uh, the early indication when I saw it, it didn't seem to me like it was onside. Anyway, that's the beauty of conferring. That's the beauty of video goal, Judge. And Dracar, though, they're not going to slow down. Nope. The Islanders will pick back up. Here's Lowen through the middle. Big Bernard in behind everyone. Bernard scores! Top cheddar! The Big X goes upstairs on the Kodalun Cornish, and it's 5-1. to one. Wow. Oh. He looked like Nick. 
Nikita Alexandrov going in there. Calm, cool, collected. What's this? They saw the pass up there, but no allowing to read it in. Whack coming from behind. That matters not. He was looking up top the whole way. It's been a desperation coming in with uh, McIsaac trying to get out of him. Look at that, and look at the sell. He got to love that. Look at that. Great there. angle coming here. Look at him. Up Big there. body steaming through. Head up the whole way. Fires it up. There's not much to go to Lund Corners. Could have done in that one there. And Zach Beauregard back the other way. Jim Holton loves the way Ben Boyd plays. Just simple things like that. Battle for the puck instead of peeling away. Take the hit, poke it out. Here's Prue in all alone. Prue, five hole and scores. Gabriel Prue gets in behind and goes five hole on Matt Welsh. And it's a three goal game. This Dracar team's not going away anytime soon. Well, that's an example of what I was just talking about earlier, Corey, where they've got speed, where they can generate it. If you turn it over in the neutral zone at all, They've got an opportunity to turn it back in the other direction and make you pay. Anthony Hamel got a little flat-footed in the neutral zone. Proved it in behind him with speed. Justin Gill's got a few more of these shifts to close in hockey games left in his career. As ETA for Drew Elliott. A long shot, that one wide. Rebound, and ETA scores as ETA in the slot. Fires a shot that beats Matt Welsh, and with... 59.9 to go, it's a two goal game. If I'm here over you, I've got to be pretty happy with my troops in terms of their compete level here this evening. They, they've not mailed it in on any level throughout this game. They've kept battling hard. A couple of fortunate bounces like that one there. This could be a bit of a different game in terms of the outcome tonight, but 